Um, More than 50 years ago, watching local and national television was much different from today. Television wasn't black and white and featured only white male news anchors. But today, television is in full color and high definition as technology has improved over the years. Perhaps even more important, racial and gender diversity has also improved in the newsroom. Most television stations want a diverse group of on-air and behind-the-scenes people. Most of us speak to diverse populations, and we do want a uh, on-air staff that reflects the complexities of our communities. In 1969, Max Robertson became the first African-American anchor on a local news in Washington, D.C., and the first black anchor on national television. Nearly a decade later, Barbara Walters became the first female to anchor a national evening news program. I think we still have a way to go there. I mean, I think uh, uh, in my career here, in the 25 years I've been here, at times we've had uh, more minority on-air people than we have now, and at times we've had fewer than we have now. Community activist Kara Brown still believes local media does not reflect diversity of the population it serves. In New Haven, let's talk New Haven, we see no African Americans other than Keith Coots on the air, and that's pretty sad. So absolutely has decreased, certainly in New Haven. Since this interview, News 8 hired African American reporter Nika Wasu to its staff. But although racial and gender diversity in the local newsrooms is still increasing today, minority journalists must still bring strong reporting and writing skills. I'm sure that the color of my skin helped to open the doors. That certainly did help. But you know what else? Once you get in there, you've got to show them you can do the job. And then if you don't, you're not able to do the job, that impacts the next person who wants, the next person of color who wants the job. So it really should not be based on color. It should be based on your skill set. How good are you? Can you feel, can you do the job. I think unfortunately a lot of times people of color, uh, male and female, uh, have not wanted to pursue uh, a lot of jobs in the media and I think if we get more people in the pipeline with an interest in it, uh, I think there are a lot of opportunities out there for them. It is important to have women and minority journalists in national and local newsroom to reflect the diversity of this country. Unfortunately, being a woman and a person of color can bring its own challenges. And you have to work harder at it, well, not only because of my race, but also because I was a female. I, you had to work harder to prove to others that you were just as good as they were. And I did, and I'm still in the business much, much longer than a lot of people who started out when I was there. If you have a diverse group of people in a story meeting, you get a lot of, a lot of different perspectives on a story. If only one group is speaking all the time about a story, uh, you might not get the, all the shades of gray necessary to cover a story effectively. From the very beginning, you know, when you, when you start, when you go back to the television industry, of course it has improved over the years, but has it improved enough? Absolutely not. We need more people of color. I think society is a lot more diverse now than it was uh, when I was coming up. Um, first couple of jobs I had were in markets, uh, small southern towns, Florence, South Carolina. Uh, I worked in Savannah as well for a little while, and there were not, was not a lot of diversity back then. I think in both cases, I think I was the only African American on air on the staff. There needs to be more done to, to improve that number, and there are so many people out there of color who are intelligent, who can write well, who can report. They just need to be found, they just need to be hired. Hopefully uh, those of us who are doing the job now uh, are helping to open the door a little bit wider for young people like you in the future. I would love to see more people of color, but will it be that way? Not sure. It's still the old boys network, still. So you just have to just hope that, that somebody will, will fight harder for that. We need more people to fight for that.